Okay, so it's Sunday again, and I have just come in from helping my family put up our outdoor Christmas lights, um, or at least the first part of them. My family, we're kind of go big or go home when it comes to our Christmas lights, so, and you can see I'm wearing my new earmuffs. They keep my ears very nice and warm. And so, writing update. So today was the day I scheduled to hit 40,000 words, and... I kind of was not playing smart last week because I wasn't really keeping up with my calendar. I wasn't really seeing like, hey, you might not want to leave just 37,000 words having been written when you know you need to have 40,000 words written on Sunday. So last week I really struggled to get more than, you know, several hundred words a day sometimes. Um, and this week is also going to be a long week because I have to work every day except Thanksgiving and our holiday hours are going to be starting so I'll be working longer. So I just kind of need to, I don't know, prepare mentally, get ready for this week because it's going to be a long week but I still need to push and get those words especially because I need to stay ahead in case I need to come up with some creative way to get the rest of my words in if I get to the end of the story and I don't have 50,000 words. I don't want to be down to the wire and just randomly sticking things in instead of being like, okay, that's a good place for me to insert something. So I hope that makes sense. Hopefully I can get those few thousand words during my writing sprints later. So, yep, welcome, welcome to kind of the, probably the beginning of maybe the steep the steep part before the home stretch of NaNoWriMo. At least that's what I'm assuming this week is going to be. So, I'm a little over 39,000 words at the moment. It's about 5 o'clock. I need to scoot if I want to get this done before dinner. If I don't make it, this will be the first time that I have not met one of the kind of word count day goals um that I've set for myself for NaNoWriMo so that would stink but um I'm, I'm still gonna try I did I did it yeah 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 I passed 40,000 words <laughs> praise the lord I did it I actually passed it by quite a bit because I was doing a writing sprint on with somebody on YouTube so I just figured hey I might as well finish that so I am at 40,454 words and I'm starting to have some hope this story might chance to be long enough so that was good I am discovering that I get a second wind in the evening um, my best writing time is in the morning and then like in the evening, but not like close, close to bedtime, but I'm getting hungry. So I probably should stop writing now because being hungry and doing creative things or really doing much of anything for me don't go well together. <laughs> but yeah, that's really good. I want to say I've written for a little over two hours today total and let me real quick see what my total word count for today was. 3,174 words, 225% of what was recommended I do today. Wow, I think that's the most words I have written in a day since, let me come down here and see, since I did that first try to hit 3,000 words day, the very first day of NaNoWriMo. I think the highest day it looks like I've had, I was, you know, almost 3,000 but not quite but then I've also like the last couple days I haven't written as many words you'll see you know I didn't write as many some days but yeah that's really good I passed 40k praise the lord and something else you might just consider interesting is I have this one character who is a you know brief side character it's not that important to the story and Guys, I, I just, I hate when I get to a place where I'm seriously considering having where a character doesn't make it. I'm like, I'm gonna try to make it the least bitter it can be, because I don't like it. And I am not a fan of just, you know, killing characters because they don't, not killing characters. Why do we call it that? I'm, I don't want to call it that. That's just mean and sad. I don't want to call it killing characters. I'll just say, you know, we have the character doesn't make it. That's what I'm gonna call it. 
I don't like calling it killing characters. That's just sad. But um, sometimes, in this case, it might actually... I don't know. It just seems like it's never... It just seems like it should never be better for a character to not be... You know, to not make it. Because in real life, you know... You know, life is important. We don't want to die. You know, we humans, we don't like dying. It's not a good thing. It's not something God intended for us to have to deal with. But, you know... This is also coming from the person who, like, come to think of it, does have her in the backstory people have died, but not during the story usually. But yeah, I think I'll probably have where he doesn't make it. I think it'll, as much as I hate saying this, work better for the story currently, but I may change that later because I do not like it whenever I have to have characters that don't make it. It's not fun. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I passed 40k. And we are almost to the true climax. Gotta do a little more setting up, but then we'll make it. Yes, praise the Lord. Something else that I think I need to make time for tonight is drawing, because I've been dying to draw some characters that I've been visualizing for like forever. And I've got like all the inspiration set up on Pinterest, but I just need to draw the thing. The thing, he's a person. I need to draw the human. <laughs> So, I think I should try to make time for that because I've been dying to do that and hopefully after dinner, you know, I can get some more creative space, but we'll see what happens because I may also want to spend some time with my family after dinner, but yeah. I should, if possible, reward myself with that because I have really been wanting to draw this guy. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm not even to 43,000 yet. I knew I should have written more words yesterday. I just didn't really make the time. I still don't have a whole lot of time, but I need to at least get to 43,000 because the chances of me writing 2,000 words tomorrow, even that's pretty remote. I've only written like 1,200 today, so this is gonna be a crazy week. Okay, so I finally got on a little bit of a roll, praise the Lord, and I got to 43,757 words, or about 2,600 words today, so that's good. That only leaves about, let's see, you know, 300, only about 1,300 words that I gotta do tomorrow, which is great because I think, oh, sorry for the wacky camera view, which is great because I think I may have some things come up tomorrow that I need to go do, which, you know, I still have to work, so, that should make it a lot more manageable to get that done before I gotta go to work tomorrow. Because tomorrow is the day I had scheduled to hit 45k. But we'll have to see how that goes. Praise the Lord, I got that done. We get ready to have to go to work. And I want to go outside for just a couple minutes because the boys are putting up some more Christmas lights. So, I'll catch you later. So, I was able to get home from work extra early today. It was like probably the earliest I've like ever gotten home from work, working the evening shift. And I couldn't take a shower right away because it was thundering and you know lightning-ing outside so I had some downtime you know I washed my hands real good because you know go ahead and then I actually ended up opening up my laptop and getting about 700 more words done so praise the lord I was totally not expecting that but he really just helped the words flow and that actually puts me at having written over 3,000 words today which is like insane especially because like I had to work and it's during the week, and that's just crazy. It just blows my mind. I'm really thankful for that. So now I'm at 44,400 and I think 16 words. So that only leaves about 600 words that I have to do tomorrow, which is such a relief because I really don't know what tomorrow's gonna look like and I may need to go run an errand or two. And I was just like, well, how am I gonna do that if I need to write like 1,500, 2,000 words? So I'm just so grateful. It's big relief. Of course, I still have to get those words tomorrow, but it's not that many, so praise the Lord. Praise Him. <laughs> Haven't written in the car for a while. Okay, so I didn't even realize until I got home, but I have hit 45,000. I can't believe it. Praise the Lord. Only 5,000 more words to go. So, it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Today, I'm gonna write just a little bit at least, you know, just to keep up my streak, but I'm not gonna write a lot unless I want to, because I'm just gonna enjoy a day off. Yeah.
I'm so close, I'm so excited. So today I wrote like way more words than I was planning on, even with all the homework that I had to do. I have written a little over 2,500 words and I'm at 49,679, I'm so close. And I just wrote the climax and it flowed. I'm just so grateful, so blessed for how well it flowed. It just, things came together, I did end up realizing I had written in a major uh, logistics error, but that's okay, I'll fix it later. The threads came together, the emotion was there, I'm just so grateful and blessed, so glad and so grateful to the Lord for helping this to just flow and turn out, and I feel, I mean, I haven't read back over it yet, but just so excited. Yeah, it just, it flowed way better than I thought it was going to. Um, and I'm so close, guys. Like, I was so worried that it wasn't going to be long enough, but I'm going to easily hit 50,000 as far as the novel length. Um, it probably won't be much over, but I think I might be able to get this baby done before November 30th. I'm so excited. Praise the Lord. Stick around. I still got about 500 words left, so. <sighs> downhill slide, downhill slide. So that's where I need to wrap up the vlog for this week. You'll have to stick around for next week's vlog to see if I do in fact hit 50,000 words. And also in that video, in the last NaNoWriMo video, I will be doing a recap of kind of my habits during NaNoWriMo, you know, how well I did, you know, my peaks and valleys for word count, things like that. Just summarizing how NaNoWriMo went. So be sure to stick around for that. So taking a look at my habits for this week, I wrote every day once again. Watched more YouTube than the weeks before, but that's okay. A couple of the times that I watched, I only watched for like 10 or 15 minutes, so I don't know. And then stretching, whew, I need to work on that. Exercise, probably need to work on that too. And then crafting, that doesn't really matter, especially because I'm going to be doing a lot of crafting coming up soon for Christmas gifts. And grading, I didn't do any. But... That's okay because I was mostly caught up after last week and I just really needed to give that final push to hit, you know, 40k and then just keep going, trying to, you know, be on the downhill slide for NaNoWriMo. So, there we go. Also, if you're wondering if I ever got around to returning that shirt and getting something else for my, you know, writing rewards. I did, I returned the shirt, and then for 40,000 words, I got some, like, sparkly Christmas earrings. And then I also got, like, a necklace that I found on clearance and a new mask, because hey, it's 2020 and there was a cute mask, and those are kind of a, a necessity for daily life right now. And I found one that was cute, so why not? So I guess that'll just be maybe what I got instead of hitting the halfway point, you know, the reward for that. I don't know, but it works, so.